Bereshit, Genesis 7. And Yahuwah said unto Noach, Come you and all your house into the ark, for you have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast you shall take to you by sevens, the male and his female, and of beasts that are not clean by two, the male and his female. Of fowls also of the air by sevens, the male and the female, to keep seed alive upon the face of all the earth. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and at every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. And Noach did according unto all that Yahuwah commanded him. And Noach was six hundred years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noach went in, and his sons and his woman and his sons' women with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creeps upon the earth, there went in two and two unto El Noach into the ark, the male and the female, as Elohim had commanded at Noach. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. In the sixth, six hundredth year of Noah's life, in the second month, in the seventeenth day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the selfsame day entered Noach and Shem and Cham and Japheth, the sons of Noach, and Noach's woman and the three women of his sons with them into the ark. They and every beast after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and every bird of every sort. And they went in unto Noach, into the ark. Two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as Elohim had commanded him, and Yahuwah shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bore up eth the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth and the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth and the ark went upon the face of the waters and the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered 15 cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died that moved upon the earth, both of fowl 
and of cattle, and of beast, and of every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth, and every man, all in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died. And at every living substance was destroyed, which was upon the face of the ground, both man and cattle, and the creeping things, and the fowl of the heavens, and they were destroyed from the earth. And Noah only remained alive, and they that were with him in the ark. And the waters prevailed upon the earth a hundred and fifty days.